Um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Orlando Otis Hunley. Um, I, I run a, an operation and organization called uh, Last Pine. Um, Last Pine is uh, an organizing group for uh, local musicians in my area. I live in um, upstate New York, uh, Schenectady, New York to be precise. Um, I get musicians from Saratoga, um, Albany, the, the surrounding areas. Uh, we've even had people come down from New York City to perform. Um, this is a, a YouTube channel that I'm starting aside from everything else. Um, there are so many things that I, you know, I want to have the chance to talk about. I do a podcast called the uh, Otis Hunley Podcast. I do another podcast with a very close friend of mine, uh, Jonathan Seriano. Um, called the gray zone where we you know talk about things uh from you know perspectively what would be left and right but really you know we're more alike than different uh when it comes to a lot of the things we talk about um this is going to be super interesting uh and uh you know i really am just gonna you know there's a bunch of things that i want i want to talk about that i just don't have a place to talk about and i like i want people to see my face when i'm talking about it uh because um, you know, audio is great. You know, we, we touch a lot of people, you know, with the gray zone, most of our audience, 43% of our audience is in London, you know, so you, that, that's, you know, that's an ocean away. Um, but with this, you know, I want to be able to, you know, really just get out there with my facial expressions, um, these topics and, you know, insert myself into debates that are going on. Um, you know, I follow, you know, you know, for, uh, you know, my influences, you know, I, you know, I started out, um, following, um, you know, I like growing up, you know, I, I, I watched a lot of wrestling. So like I, I, I watch Steven Larson uh, almost every day. I watch uh, people like Jimmy Dore almost every day. I watch people like Kyle Kalinske almost every day. Um, people like, uh, you know, the, formerly of the Rising, Crystal and uh, Sagar. You know, I watch them every day. I give everyone, you know, I, I, I try to, you know, hear as many voices um, and uh, let it come to my mind. Uh, <laughs> you know nicely put but i'm super excited uh to be able to talk about things like you know things like how the dave Chappelle thing just went down and how that always happens to you know it continues to go down um to talk about you know just you know, there's a lot of strikes going on there's a lot of protests um there's a lot of new music coming out there's a lot of new um media you know entertainment coming out and i think there's a high difference between american entertainment and you know the sort of eastern entertainment that you know that we uh you know get exposed to i i, I read uh one piece every week that it comes out um as soon as it comes out uh, i love the the ability uh for eastern storytellers to tell a story uh, versus you know um these western storytellers and you know western meaning american entertainment where you know everything is compartmentalized you know and you know like you you want to hear a spider-man story but like um i grew up knowing spider-man being a part of the marvel universe not aside from it you know like uh, spider-man was something that these other heroes got to look up to you know and compare themselves to you know there was a, a certain um you know there was there was a necessity for these characters to be around each other in my mind and there was a very long time in uh western entertainment where you know spider-man was over here uh, you know iron man and everyone else was over here um and it hurt it hurt uh you know even things like uh the cw arrowverse an insane thing you don't get to use characters like batman and superman you know um for reasons I really don't understand, I don't like how um, the people who lead our entertainment structure in America uh, view the people they're entertaining as idiots. Um, and it, it, like that's what it comes down to. They think we can't understand multiple interpretations of Batman. We can't understand multiple interpretations of X, Y, or Z. Um, so that's the sort of thing I want to talk about. I want you know I want to I want to get a lot of things off my chest and I think this will be a, a great great opportunity uh to be able to talk with all of you um whoever you know whoever comes in through this door um please uh give this a chance this is this is exciting um this is new um there's a lot of people on YouTube but they ain't us uh thank you I'll talk to you guys soon